Which am I? Welcome. A problem I've had when I've been to some conferences, like the San Francisco Bitcoin conference, where I retrofitted some machines, some arcade machines, to accept uh, Bitcoin over Lightning, but people didn't have Bitcoin on Lightning on their phones, so I had to give them individually, just give them some Satoshi so they could play with the arcade machines, which was fine. I didn't mind doing that, but um, sometimes I wouldn't be there, and I imagine people went and they weren't able to use the arcade machines and have that Lightning experience. So I wanted to make some sort of physical faucet where people could go up to it, scan it and then get some Bitcoin on Lightning and then use that then to play around with, you know, the Lightning Network and have that first Lightning experience. Um, um, and it just so happens that uh, someone has created this wonderful website, lightning.gifts, and that gives you the ability to, to kind of make a voucher which someone can redeem. Um, and uh, if you use something called uh, LNURL, which is a great standard, um, which is adopted by Blue Wallet, the Bitcoin Lightning Wallet, and um, a couple of other wallets are thinking about implementing it too, then uh, this is achievable and possible. So I, I've made a picture frame with a little QR code in it. And then if you've got, so let's do it on, let's do it on um, the Bitcoin Lightning Wallet, shall we? So I open my wallet, okay. And then I just swipe left, super easy and then scan, try not to shake, there we are, scan the QR code, it says, do you want to redeem the gift? I say, okay, and then I've got, yep, there we are, I just got 100 Satoshis in my wallet, and then this, there we are, it should, more sats in five minutes, there we go. So um, then in five minutes, it'll just come with another QR code and you get 100 Satoshis from it. Um, so this tutorial is going to be making this, this faucet uh, for what it's worth and you could maybe put, put one somewhere, maybe in your local meetup or if you go to a conference um, and then people can easily get access to uh, Satoshis on Lightning um, so they can start experimenting with Lightning Network. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect the 1.8 TFT screen to the SP32 via and we're going to use the SPI protocol. Um, there's only five jumper wires which are needed for this. Uh, we're going to prepare the Arduino IDE and then we're just going to flash the code. So this is a pretty simple project really. Uh, because it's a, a physical faucet and for some reason um, that song by King G with King Julian and uh, Madagascar was playing in my head when I was doing it. I ended up calling Physically Faucet um, and it's powered by Lightning Gifts which is a, a, a great website. In fact I'll go on it now. Here's a little easter egg for you. So I'm going to make a, a thousand Satoshi voucher. And then whoever's watching this video first, get your wallet out and try and redeem this voucher, okay? So I'm gonna fund, I'm gonna pay that, that's, that's eight cents right there. I'm gonna say I never give you nothing. Um, so I've paid eight cents, so for your redeemable gift, okay, so now there's a QR code. If you've got an LNURL wallet, you can scan that QR code. Um, uh, so if you have Blue Wallet, um, I think on Blue Wallet it's receive and then there's a little uh, link saying scan to something and then you click on that and you can scan it. Or if you've got uh, the Bitcoin Lightning Wallet, you can use that That's uh, for, uh, for um, Android. So there you are, a little Easter egg for you. So this is, this is essentially, this, this website, you can make a, a voucher and then give that to somebody and they can redeem some Satoshis. So um, what we're doing, because... Uh, uh, now on this website has a, an API which we can access. Um, so what we're doing is we're just we're hitting that um, API, we're requesting a voucher, we're paying the voucher, and then we're getting this QR code and we're displaying it on our little screen. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There's instructions in the GitHub here on how to you know put the um, uh, project together. So there's a pin map there. I always try and use the same uh, ESP32 development board. So I'm using the Node MCU32S. Tells you the libraries you need to install um, and the components you need as well. Download the project, open it up, open up the folder. Right now, um, this is my sketchbook. So when you install the Arduino IDE, somewhere on your computer you'll have a sketchbook where your sketches are saved to. Um, we're going to make a new folder in here. I'm going to call it, um, I'll call it Fizz, Fizz Foss. Okay, cool. Fizz Foss. I'm going to drag this file in here. I'm actually going to rename him because he has to sit 
It has to be the same name as the folder it sits in as well. It's like an Arduino thing. This, this FOSS. This FOSS with a C, obviously. This FOSS. Okay. Rename. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so we've got access to the code. So now we're into the code. I'm using my new favorite development environment, which I've just done a video for, and it's you basically just download and install Zap uh, locally on your computer, and then um, you make the Neutrino node, the LND Neutrino node behind Zap available over the internet, and then you can use that then uh, as, as, as if you were using a lightning full mode. For this project, for physically faucet, it's particularly important because we are exposing our admin macaroon. We need to be able to make a payment um, on the behalf of our um, L&D node. So we don't want to have too many, too many funds on that node. So the uh, Zap Wallet solution is an absolutely perfect um, solution. We could put five pounds on it and then that should be uh, plenty for us to um, uh, give out, you know, 100 satoshis every five minutes. I, I suppose that probably lasts a week or something. So, um, so yeah, if you, if you, you can use your, your, own full node by all means but you are going to be exposing your admin macaroon so make sure you're only doing it around friends and family who aren't going to rip you off and, and steal the, the physically faucet and try and pull your admin mac off it um otherwise you use this solution so you're not exposing too many funds so watch this video uh and then it'll tell you how to get your admin macaroon as a hex string um so once you've got your admin macaroon as a hex string you'll need to plop it in there and then you'll need to put in in the video as well. I also showed you how to make a uh, make your node available over servio.net. Um, so you'll need to do that. And then once you've done that, it's available over servio.net. So um, let me quickly talk you through the code, how it works. Well, I will have a look at the, the libraries. We're using the Arduino JSON that just deciphers the JSON, which comes back from the get and post requests we're doing we've got QR code that's just obviously making a QR code for us and this is the um, the library for the display we selected specifically um, our um, uh, this is this is specifically for the 1.8 TFT uh, there's a pin map at the top here and this tells us how to wire up the pins we're going to do in a moment um, and then yeah then we go into there's some you know variables which are called here you have to put in your Wi-Fi credentials and your Wi-Fi password you can see here that we're accessing the lightning gifts API and then what do we do we turn on the screen and we connect to the Wi-Fi we do a little node check just to make sure that the node is actually accessible because if it's not then we, we don't want to be you know displaying QR codes uh, so it just comes up with a little error, error saying you know no node detected in fact should we have a look at that function that function is here um, so it does a check and then if it can't connect to the node it just I suppose it doesn't display anything I thought it would say something on the screen but I haven't actually really answered the code yet so that's fine maybe I'll do that at some point um, then we go into the actual um, uh, main loop function so all Arduino projects have a setup loop a setup sorry a setup function and then a loop function so we've run our setup now we're going to run our loop so what we're doing, um, we've got a little uh, bit of text saying generating gift. Uh, it generates the gift, so it creates a gift. It makes a payment, so obviously when the gift has been created, as I just showed you in the example, you've then got to pay for that, that gift on, on uh, Lightning Gifts. It retrieves the information for that Lightning Gift. Um, it dis Does it display the address yet? No, it doesn't. It checks to see the, the status of the gift. Um, and then it says because it's unpaid it then shows the address so that's that's the qr function which i think is probably down the bottom i need to put this down the bottom yeah here we are so this is my qr function here um so this just builds a qr code uh, literally by drawing little square boxes um on the screen uh, and then it just draws draws the qr code um so we draw the qr code and then oh yeah while not spent um, check gift. So this is now another function where it's where's check gift. So we have a look at him. Dun, 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 dun. Check gift. There we are. Oh, check gift. Okay. Uh, so this is doing a get request and it's just checking to see if the gift has been redeemed. 
and if it's not been redeemed, um, well, what does it return? Let's check and see if it's redeemed, and it return and it returns whether yeah, it's, it's been spent or not. Um, da -da -dum, check gift. So once once it has been spent, it obviously breaks this while loop, and then goes yeah, it goes into our countdown. So more sats in five sec five minutes, and then it there's a delay of sixty seconds. It loops back round. Um, and then it says more sats in uh, four minutes and then 60 seconds, loops back around for, for three minutes and then just keeps looping around until the five minutes are up. Once the five minutes are up, um, it does the whole loop again, the whole void, um, the whole uh, loop function again. So it generates the gift and then it puts another gift on the, on the display. So that's pretty much it. There's a setup, there's the main loop and then there's all our functions here like creating the gift, initially creating it checking the nodes there and it's, it's online, making a payment for the gift, checking the gift status. Um, so you should be able to see, yeah, we check the gift again. What's the two functions called check gift, check gift status. I need to make more differentiated um, function names, I think. So yeah, so pretty simple, pretty straightforward fairly um, easy, to, easy to grasp. So I'm just going to wire up one of these devices now. Right, so at the top, um, the header of that file is the, the pin map. So I only need five wires. Um, VCC to 3.3 volt. Now, that's the wire I don't actually need. So where are we, VCC? Um, so I'm just going to go straight to ground because there's two live wires on this display. There's an LED live wire to light backlight the LED back, and then there's um, the live wire to actually like supposedly you know run the components on the device. But um, you can run the components on the device off the LED wire, so we don't need the other one. Um, well, I'll just plug all those in, I guess. I plug them all. Right, so All right. Well, I seem to be missing a wire. I think I need another jump wire. Okay. These feel better than the other batch of wires I had. I bought a really cheap batch off AliExpress, but these these are a little bit more expensive than off uh, Amazon. I think it's worth spending a bit of money on on wires. Right, so we've got the ground. So CSS CS is the uh, red wire. Chip select that goes to pin five. Pin five. This light's not the greatest tie dies as well. That's why it's useful having a magnifying glass. Ah, there he is. I'm using the middle, I just couldn't quite see him. There's pin five. And then after that, reset. And the reset pin is 16. Now I do try and clump these together. So we are 16. And then DC is 17. That's the next one. Yellow. It's labeled as AO on there. Sometimes with these SPI um, uh, namings, they, they, uh, they just, uh, there's a whole bunch of different names they use. So you just require some Googling sometimes, right? And then bah, 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 bah. SDA, that's Mozzie, that's an easy one. That should be 23. Where are you, 23? Oh yeah, next to ground. You'd think I'd get to know this board by now. And then the last one 
I say the last one, but we also need another wire, is SCK, and that is 18. It's a pretty easy one to find. Okay, have I got another wire handy? Yep, I have. Right, so these are the, the cheaper ones which I, I bought in batch, which were a complete waste of space. Um, and that is LED. As I said, you don't need a wire for the VCC LED, and I'm just going to connect that to my 5 volts, which is over there. Cool. Let's plug him in. So I plugged it in, I put in my Wi Fi credentials. Um, it doesn't matter what subdomain you pick for the servio.net SSH tunnel. Uh, the great thing about this is it's just all um, over the, the command line. Where are we? This is the last uh, project I did. Here we are, Mort. There we are. Um, so as long as you the subdomain you pick, you you put in this um, this this command here. Um, this is going to make an SSH tunnel from our computer to servio.net, and it's going to deliver our um, our Zap wallet, which is over here. Here we are. So the um, LND node behind the SAP wallet will be exposed um, through that port, but obviously they need macaroons to be able to access it and do anything with your, your LND node, um, which I talked about in my tutorial I, I did on, on how to do all this, so check that out. Now the last thing I've got to add is my admin macaroon, so I'm going to see if I can scroll up and paste that. Uh, no, I'll have to blur out afterwards. Oh well. Right, let's scroll down a bit. Right, now, so hit on upload. Just a reminder, when it's uploading, uh, you do need to press that little button there in order to like give permission to the SP32 for it to upload the program onto it. Uh, I'll use um, I'll use Blue Wallet this time, shall I? Um, okay, so in Blue Wallet, wallet. Uh, click on uh, receive, click on scan to receive. Let's take a little moment because it's got to generate the gift. So it's got to go go to the lightning.gifts API, generate a gift, and then pay for the gift using our Zap wallet. Boom, that was pretty quick. All on that little ESP32. I wish Blue Wallet would put on those little squares for scanning QR codes because I never know. Come on, phone. There we are. Right, click create. Boom, there we are. So it says 7,074. It should, ooh, should go up to 7,174 in a second. Nice. And then it'll give you more Satoshis, 100 more Satoshis in five minutes. So that's a little screen, little TFT screen. You get those for about three dollars on AliExpress. The early SP32, they're you know three four dollars on AliExpress as well. Um, it's not a massive leap then, obviously, to uh, put it in a nice picture frame. This is just a prototype. I'm going to print this out in color. Uh, chuck a battery in the back. Um, that's a little lithium ion battery, and then that should power that for a few hours. People can go up to it. They can scan it. They can get 100 satoshis. Just gives out 100 satoshis every five minutes. Brilliant. So have fun. Be careful because you're exposing your admin macaroon. Um, but yeah, have fun. It's a nice little fun project to do. Cheers.